Now, one minor problem Google Plus has with shared posts is that if someone shares a post of yours, you'll see that they shared it, but then you'll no longer see any other interaction on that post. If people leave comments about it, you won't see it. If they plus one, you won't see it. And a lot of times you'd want to. I mean, it's, if it's your content being reshared, you want to know what other people are saying about it out there. Here I can see uh, the comments people left directly on mine, and I can see who shared it, but that's all it's going to show me. So. In this case, this post is about a week old, so it's going to be difficult to track down all these shares. But during the day, usually you can find it pretty easy. To do that, you pull up your post, and where it says the number of shares, you can click that. It'll list their name. And what I often do is just right-click, open there, and it'll take you to their profile page, which is where the post would live. Um, open those up in new windows so I can kind of go through. And again, because it was a week ago, we could have to scroll down quite a while to find them. But typically, it'll be near time to say, ah, here's that shared post of mine. And then you can see what people said. And a lot of times I'll try to jump into that conversation, sometimes just to say, hey, thanks for sharing it. Although I don't always like those kind of posts if it's, you know, saying thanks just to say thanks. It can be almost a little clutter if I go around and say that in everyone's. Um, but a lot of times they'll leave some commentary saying, I tried this on my house and it was pretty cool. And I can say, oh, I'm glad it worked out well. Something just to get me in the conversation because once I've commented, then I'll get updates, get notifications of uh, subsequent comments, which is a good way to do that. I'll go through each one. Again, depending on how many people shared, if I have something real viral that goes out, you know, gets 50 or 100 shares, it's tough to track them all down. But again, if it's content I've written, I like to see what people are saying, whether it's on my post or on a reshare. So it's good to kind of track those down. I'm hoping Google offers some more tools for that in the future. Um, I'm really looking for more notification granularity where I can go through and, and choose more ways to be notified and certain things I can turn off and that kind of thing. But it'd be nice to check a box and say, notify me of comments on posts of mine that have been shared elsewhere. Or something probably written a little better than that, but that idea. But for now, just open up each one, find that post, and then just interact with it so you'll get, you'll know about the subsequent comments on that post. And it's a good way to meet new people too. You know, if, if Miguel were to share one of my posts, you know, we probably have a different set of followers. Um, really with anyone, we probably would. And so people may notice my content that wouldn't have seen it before, uh, perhaps add me to a circle then, but I can also interact and meet some cool folks and maybe add them to some of my circles if I think they're worthwhile and interesting and stuff. So using the shared stuff is a great way to meet new people and find great new people to follow on Google+, and that's how you can track them down for now. Thanks.